Are you sick of creating the exact same website layout for every website? Well, in this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating a Bento grid layout that captivates your audience. If you want to save time, you can download the Elementor template of this Bento grid that I'm about to build. You can find the link in the comment section below. So let's do it. So we'll place the container at the bottom here. So let's make sure that we have the right settings on our container. So we're going to make this one to 50 and we'll place the direction to the right and we'll give it a top margin just to give it a bit of breathing room. We'll add 45 pixels, bring that down a little bit. Once you've done that, you can now add in a new container and then we're just going to quickly change these settings as well. And we want this one to be full width. We'll make the direction go vertically and we'll change these gaps to 10. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this one. Let's add in a background image. So we'll go to style. We'll choose our image over here and we'll choose this one. We'll make the image full. We'll change the position to custom. We'll make that about 70% no repeat and we'll make it cover. We then want to change the border of our box. We'll leave that as default and we'll just give it a border radius of 20. And we'll go on and we'll add in a, make that a heading. We'll change the text and we'll go to style and make that white. Change that to about 16. We'll also just give this a custom width. So we'll make that custom. We'll change that to pixels. Give it a width of about 140. We'll change our box size and we will make the padding. We'll just uncheck that. We'll make this 250. We'll make that 36, 34 and 32. And then finally, we want to change the lighting behind this so that we have better visibility on our text. So I'm going to go to style and I'm going to give it a background overlay. We'll make this a gradient and for the first color, we'll choose this color here and we'll do the same for here and we'll change this to radial. We'll place it on the top right and make it about one. Just going to change this color slightly, give it more opacity and then that looks perfect. Okay, let's quickly set our box sizes so that they're all correct. And I'm going to set this to, um, to 28%. I'll make this one 33 and I'll make this one 44. Okay. On this box over here, I'm going to change this over here to say it's space between and I'm going to add in a new container. I'll then add in a new heading, place that there, change the color and we'll just put a background color here. We'll make that one the dark green. We'll also just make that 22 pixels and we'll make it the fig tree. Next, we'll add in a divider. We'll change the style and we'll just give that a gap of 25. Change the color, give it a white with a transparency. We need spacing around here. So we're just going to go to padding and we'll make that 35 cross and this just gives it a bit of white space so it's not sitting right on top of the box. We also want the same edges that we had around this box here. So we'll make that the same, give it a border radius of 20. Now let's add in an icon list. Four checkboxes should be fine. I'll then go to style and I'll just change the icon color to green. And we'll make the gap between the boxes about six. Lastly, we'll change the text color. We'll go on over to the next box. Be easiest to just copy the style of this and paste it over there. So when you do that though, just make sure that you place back the correct percentage, um, which was 44. Then I'm going to place a video link onto the background. So we'll switch this to video and I'm just going to place a video in over there. This will look a lot better if we just have a filter on it. So I'm going to go to background overlay. We'll add in a gradient and I'll place this color and this one. Both these colors have an opacity. We'll change the angle to radial and we'll make that one. 
Okay, so now we're going to do more of the bento grid layout. And we'll start by adding in another container. And I'll make this container here 1 to 50. And I will give the direction to the right. And we'll just add in a center. We'll go over to advanced. And let's just add our spacing in. So I'll unlink the values. Make it 4, 10, 50, 10. Once we've done that, we'll go in and we'll add in another container into this one. On this container, we'll change from box to full width and we'll just make that 60%. We'll give it a minimum height, 400. Sorry, that switched. We'll go over to advanced and we'll just change this to grow so that it always takes up the full width of the container. Now we can duplicate this container and we'll change this one here to 30. Inside this container, we're going to need to add in another one. So I'm going to add a container in and I'm just going to copy the style of this one so that we don't have to redo all of the overlays. We'll paste the style in, but then just go here and change this back over to boxed. Now we can simply duplicate this. So we're going to say copy and paste that one in there. Now if we take a look at our container, it's always going to change to the size of the container. If I add in another container, you see that it's going across the screen like this. So what we'll do is we go to the main one and we just go to the layout and we need to add in a wrap and it automatically resizes it. So this is very cool. Hold on to the sides. You can see how it's going to change my grid and allow me to have full control. Okay, so now that we have our grid set up nicely, let's just quickly fix the space in here. So we're just going to remove any additional spacing that is in there, just clicking on each of these and removing that out. Next, we're going to add in our heading. So I'm just going to paste a heading in here. I'll paste some text. You can go over to this button, copy it, and paste that in. And we'll also just flip the colors so that it looks good on a background. And finally, we need some white space. We'll just make that 50 pixels all around. I'll change my image out. Use this one over here. I'm going to take the same text, paste it in. We'll give that 50 pixels as well and change the image. This one. I'm going to delete this one here. I'm just going to duplicate this box across and I'll duplicate it again and again. Okay, so I've changed out my images and you can make any further adjustments that you may need. But here is our bento grid layout and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.